So I know that my last video was about Slayer, but I actually want to make this one specifically about Slayer again and four specific creatures. Just after I finished my last video, I actually saw on the update that they released four new superior creatures that seems extremely interesting for monsters that wasn't really very intriguing to kill before. That is the Drakes, the Hydras, the Worms and the Turoths and I'm not sure how I'm going to get a Turoth task but the other ones shouldn't be that hard to get because I already have so many points to skip with. The Hydra of course I have to go to Konar and for the Worms I think I can get anywhere and I just unblocked that task. I had it on block and uh, now I can actually get that and I put Fire Giants on block instead. But let's see if we can manage to get those four superior creatures in this video as well as might do some bossing as well for the series. Oh yeah, I forgot to say in the intro, uh, if you want to join my Discord, the link to that will be in the top of the description. We have a great time there. About doing some bossing, uh, yeah, I'm already going to do some bossing actually with this smoke devil task that I got. It's not a new superior of course, but it's too good of a task to skip doing. So I actually brought, bought the dragon claws. I've never actually used these before on old school runescape, so it's going to be very interesting to try them now that I actually have more cash. I haven't really uh, u any use for the uh, Dragon Hunter Laws right now, so I have, a have it sold because when I go back to raiding I can just buy it back again with the money that I have. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how these are going to work on the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil. Last time I got one of these they were 2 million, but that took me about 100 kills and not bad profit still. Maybe a bit of a random jump in this video, but I've been offered to do some corp duo with a friend of mine. And uh, I was kind of dreading doing this boss because I was really scared I would have to solo it. And soloing Corp is quite the undertaking. You have to spec it with the Warhammer, BGS for like such a long time before you can actually go in and have a shot at it. But if you do it a duo, you have a way better chance. You we, What we did was we did 5D Warhammer specs and then a few Arc Light specs and then we started hitting him. But the boss hits so extremely hard that sometimes you'll still have to teleport out at the same time or try to stay in solo because if you teleport out meanwhile uh, the fight is going on, if both of you teleport out the uh, HP of the boss resets. So at the end of the day we had to kind of do it in one go without banking or one person had to tank and bank and then come back quickly before the other one has to leave. You can see I got hit a 35 there. But we also started using cannons later on, but I really just wanted to do a few kills on the Corporal Beast to really see what the boss is like, because I haven't killed it in old school runescape, and I have to say, yeah, it's quite a hassle to kill it, and the loot is not really worth it, especially if you do it uh, duo only, and there you can see he died, that wasn't the first attempt we ever did together, and we haven't really done Corp either of us before, he knew a bit more about the boss than I did, but in the end we did get a couple of kills, and I do understand how the boss works and I kind of, as I said, knew that you had to spec it all this before, first before you can actually go for the kill. And um, I feel like after I did these 5 kills that we did that you will see the loot for, I do have enough understanding of the boss now that I can take it off the list because it's not one of those bosses that's very uh, difficult to understand. It really is just hit the boss when you have the specs and eat when you need to and when the core comes up you just move two steps. I mean it's pretty much the same as in RS3 where I've killed it a bunch of times. Loot for the first corporeal beast kill. I did 1.1k damage out of 2k pretty much and that is okay 60k. Death runes. Yeah for the efforts ooh, the money coming back is not that great. Second drop. Now we also have cannons by the way. Let's see what loot's going to be. 40 antidotes. Yeah that's not the best. Coming in on the third kill, also the damage is very strange when you teleport out, I'm not sure how it calculates really. 750 adamant arrows, nice nice nice, that's a massive drop. If you don't know by the way, I use my spec rejuvenation pool, then I use a game necklace to teleport back, I have my crush bonus gear on, the helmet and the cape, and then I just go in and spec it twice and hope that I hit, and I hit, and hopefully the second one hits as well, and then I just teleport back to home, reset spec and go again. Fourth kill, if we can get a hit in here. Yeah, there we go. Fourth kill is going to be what? An elite. Oh my god! Oh, oh my, that was such a bait! I actually thought we got a sigil. It's a very good drop though, but that orange text actually... Holy shit, I got so baited! It's... Oh, uh, that we do split. Yeah, how much? It's like 1.7 mil, I think. 
so last and fifth kill coming through we pretty much do 50% of the damage on the boss every time so it's pretty balanced and 120 white berries not the best loot but the onyx bolts was very nice to get I actually forgot to do this after I did Dragon Slayer 2. I want to make the Ferocious Gloves, which are the pretty cheap 6 million and best in slot melee gloves. It's two more strength bonus and some plus slash and crush and all that compared to the Barrow's Gloves. No pet this time either, but over 1000 KC now on this boss, which is very nice. The drop rate, as I said, is 1 in 3k, so pretty much 33% of the way to the pet. There we go, 116 drakes, that is one of the new monsters that have superiors, and I think every superior in the game, I guess including the new ones, is 1 in 100 chance, so... Technically, I should get one of them on this task. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, well, there we go. I already got the superior for the uh, Drakes. And I'm not sure exactly what it can do, but it stunned me just now. Let's see what the abilities are. So far, it doesn't seem that complicated. But it did have... Okay, this ability, 27 hits. I'm not sure how you avoid that. Maybe it is by running away. Next time uh, it does that ability, I will uh, try to run away and see what happens. I'm going to assume that's what you have to do, so just, uh, it probably should be about now. Okay, no, maybe it's the next attack. No, there might not actually be a pattern on it, because on these ones it's every, I think, okay, here we go. Okay, I, there's like no way you can actually run away from that. Maybe you have to melee pray it or something. I can't really uh, uh, think of what it could be right now, but it's not that hard, I mean... Uh, the Dark Beast Superior is definitely a bit more complicated than this one, but maybe I can actually melee pray it. Nope, doesn't seem like you can do anything about it. And let's see what the loot is for this creature. Oh, 7000 Slayer is very good. Okay, that's a lot of items, but uh, none of the rare goodies. Okay, wow, I did not keep track of that. I actually got 98 attack on the exact same kill as a Dragon's Tooth. Or Drake's Tooth, rather. Uh, unfortunately, it's only 80k, so it's definitely uh, the less valued rare drop from these. The Drake's Claw is, I think, around 1 million. But it is a rare drop nonetheless. Awesome! 142 Hydras, that is a very decent chance of getting a superior. So let's see if we can actually manage to get one. Oh my god! That took me, what? Look at the kill count. Four kill counts, and <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my god, it looks so... I have to kill this one first though, but... Colossal Hydra. Is it just me, or is this like... I think the normal Hydras look so cool. Like, I really like the design of them. The Colossal Hydra... I mean, it looks very strange. Uh, I don't know what the extra things on the tail is. They are, it has like two small wings there in the uh, back. And I'm actually kind of interested in seeing what this actually does. Okay, so it seems like it does the normal things, where it just does the 3 attacks range, 3 attack magic. But I guess... Oh, that's a su uh, superior effect. Okay, so that is electricity on the ground. Okay, so I guess this is... This boss is literally the alchemical hydra. That's what it seems like. I'm kind of zoning out now because I'm doing commentary at the same time. But yeah, probably not the hardest superior to kill. It has a lot of HP though, but... Um, yeah, very interesting, and I think the design is, like, it's so, so big that that's kind of cool. Oh, okay, I did not mean to do that. Hopefully it doesn't despawn. But I was going to say, it's very cool that it's so big, but also it looks kind of derpy, I think. Look at those hands. It's like, how many fingers is that? Oh, that's just five. Okay, never mind. It looks kind of strange. But yeah, also the tail, the tail is just very strange compared to the normal Hydras. So interesting design, it looks a bit derpy in my opinion, but um, well, pretty cool nonetheless. You definitely notice it when it spawns at least. But let's have a look at what it actually drops. 8.6 thousand Slayer experience, that's a hefty amount. And nothing too great this time. I really wonder what the drop rate on this on the Imbued Heart is. Two things, that is a Hydra's Fang, pretty close to the end of the task. And I have two pieces now for the Brimstone Ring, so one more and I get a 5 million cash in you can say but also i want to say that i just looked on uh, rune wiki or wikipedia for runescape and it is a one in 160 drop rate for uh, the imbued heart oh that was about time 147 worms which is the second to last superior i still have to kill and my current point is 61 so 
it was pretty close that I wouldn't get that task without having to do some maybe annoying tasks. So let's see if we can in 147 worms get one of the superiors. Honestly, I've been very lucky with superiors. Uh, there we go. That's the shadow worm. And oh my god, that is huge. I... Wait. Oh, I thought it actually unequipped my weapon. I was like, why am I not attacking for so long? Uh, so, so far, nothing special uh, compared to the normal ones. But I'm assuming that any time now I might get hit for some big numbers. Okay, 13 melee. But I can't really see any difference here compared to the normal ones. And it's already 40% HP. So maybe it literally just melees and then magic hits like the normal ones. Honestly, that would be kind of disappointing, but uh, I guess that's what it is. Let's see what's going to drop as well. 3.5k experience, Earth Battle Staff and a Dragon Dagger, so pretty decent drop for uh, not getting a rare. But it looks cool nonetheless, and uh, if I get another one then I can see if it has any other abilities, but I really don't think it does because I feel like it would use it like every third attack or something. The superiors usually do. Now, unfortunately, I only have 79 Slayer points left, and I really want to get this Turf task, so I have to go here to Sheldar, and uh, hopefully get a Turf assignment. Look at this, only 79 points, and the weight on Sheldar to get a Turf task is 10, which is very high, and actually only Sheldar, Vanaka, and Neve can give Turf tasks, so that's why I have to go to these, and this is by far the most common one to give it, so let's see if we can get it. Cave Horrors, that's a very easy task, I'll just do it so I don't waste points. Well that was a very good choice to actually complete that task. I got two black masks in, what, 149 kills? Sweet. Uh, I actually didn't even know that these had superiors, but uh, I think this should be a very very low drop chance of an imbued hodge, probably like 1 in 1000. Looks pretty cool though, so pretty cool to get it in one of the videos when I'm uh, killing superiors. Let's see what I get, 950, steel dagger, beautiful. I pretty much always do cave horror tasks, and look at this, 4 black masks in 400 kills, so in 2 tasks, I pretty much f made 4 million GP from that. Oh my god, meanwhile running to a spiritual mages task or spiritual creatures task, I just realized I completely missed when I got 99 attack. And 1850 total, so getting closer to that 2k, but I will have to get that 99 cape uh, a bit later in the video, but damn, I'm 122 combat, so that's very nice. Finally, that actually did take quite a while, 139 Turoths, let's see if we can get a superior in this one. If not, I'll get out my Slayer cape and hopefully get a back-to-back, -back. that would be amazing. As uh, every time before, I've been uh, very lucky with superiors, I've only killed, what, 21 of them, and there we go, that is the spiked Turoth. Let's see if it has any extra abilities, I'm actually going to turn off auto retaliate and just see if it does anything. But uh, I guess the lower tier superiors don't actually usually do a lot of things. And it seems like all it does is just melee me, and it's probably going to die very quickly because I'm pretty much maxed. So, uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what the chance of an imbued heart on this one is, but judging of the level of the turrets and all that, I would guess it's like 1 in 500, 2000 experience, or d not 2000, sorry, 1999 experience, not too bad. Another one in the end of the task, let's see uh, what we get from this one, it is going to be nothing special again. So now that we have done all the superiors, and I'm actually very happy about them, I think they're pretty cool. The coolest one, in my opinion, is the Hydra one. It looks very unique, uh, but I do think it is pretty cool. So let's see, the attack skill cape is now bought, and I really like the look of this actually. It looks very good with the Bandos gear and the Amulet of Torture. Uh, this might be a pretty good cape for skilling outfit, and these are all my skill capes right now. I have a total of 5. Pretty sweet to have uh, some 99s now. Now have a look at this. On the first slide of the bosses I have left to kill and what I've killed, I of course finished off Corporal Beast, and I did kill 5 of them, but 3 of the kill counts went to my duo body, so I, I will only type in 2 kills because that's uh, what it says in my collection log, but I do know 100% how to do the boss, 
at least in like a decent way possible or a decent enough way that I will be able to do it probably solo if I just do a lot of specs and all that. So I will check that off the list and the only bosses I have left on this whole page is the Nightmare. So I will probably pretty soon get into that. And on the second one we added only kill count to the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil which is now over 1000 KC. And as you can see on this page as well it's not a lot left. It is the Theater of Blood and then we only have the Inferno left on this page. But that is going to be the end of this video. Just before I end it though, I just want to say a couple of things. I want to say if you like the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see my future videos, then make sure to subscribe to get notified when. Also, by the way, look at my subscriber count. It's very, very close to 10k if I haven't even got it yet. And it would be pretty cool to reach that milestone. So if you want to help me with that, you can uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, I just want to show this. I've got quite a lot of Slayer drops in total. And uh, here you can see the Dusk piece that I got pretty recently, the Blood Shards that was uh, added very recently as well. But look at this, 15 Black Masks and 9 Whips. This is a lot of money from Slayer and 2 Ert Eternal Gems but no Imbued Hearts unfortunately. They are always the same drop rate so getting 2 of the lesser valued one is pretty unfortunate. But hopefully I can get an Imbued Heart in the future. Uh, but yeah, I actually haven't got a Dark Bow yet either which is uh, unfortunate. But it's not worth that much so it's mostly for the collection log. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.